guys, Joe here, back with another video, and I decided to make a video on this, the Magic Keyboard from Apple. Now, the reason why is if you're a longtime Mac user, you probably are aware that they've never made a keyboard that's wireless with a number pad until now. Why did it take them several years to finally come out with one? I'm asking the same question. But this new Magic Keyboard is pretty much gonna be the same exact keyboard that Apple has sold with their iMacs, but with a number pad. It still has the same shape, same design, it's just wider now. In the box, all we get is some literature along with a lightning cable to charge your wireless keyboard. You can use it while it's charging, so that's not a problem. And as far as battery goes, Apple says this should last you about a month or even more between charges. I still haven't tested it for a month as I just got it a few days ago, but I don't doubt that this will last you at least a month without having to charge it again. Now, as I said, there's not much that has changed. It still has the same design. You still have the power switch on the back and the lightning port right in the middle, but everything has stayed the same except for some minor tweaks on the keys. So as you can see, the command option and control keys are now larger, but also a little note is the fact that you can now tell what the option key is as far as shortcuts go, that little icon on the top. You can actually tell that the option key does that little command that you see in a lot of different shortcuts for Mac. Same goes with the control key. It has a little arrow pointing up. Now the function key now moved to the right side of the delete key. And speaking about functions, we now have more function keys right across the top, but also the space bar is slightly larger along with the command and option and control key on the right side of the spacebar. That as well, just like on the left side, has gotten larger keys. And compare the two on the top, you still get all the function keys, along with music player controls and the volume up, down, and mute, and the eject button, they all remain on the same spot. Now, of course, the new stuff is gonna be on the right side of the keyboard. You have your number pad. So here in the middle, you have your document navigation controls for quick scrolling, and also the full size arrow keys right below that. But on the far right, we have the number pad. So we have our clear key, our equal division, multiplication key, subtraction, addition, and then the enter key. So this is great, of course, for those who use their Mac for Excel spreadsheets or doing math and things like that, things that deal with numbers, of course. Now this keyboard is gonna have the same scissor mechanism as the previous Mac keyboard. So it does allow you to move across the keyboard without having to really lift your fingers much. It's not gonna have the butterfly mechanism like on the new MacBooks. So if you want a keyboard like that, this is not the keyboard for you. Pretty much if you're familiar with the smaller Apple Magic keyboard, this is basically the same exact thing but now with the number pad. Not much more to say about it besides that. Now lastly, let's talk about the price tag. Now if you do decide to purchase a new iMac that was announced recently, these don't come standard. You will have to choose the option to pick one up for 30 more dollars. Now if you're expecting to pick this up in space gray, just like the one that's shipping with the new iMac Pro that's set to release later this year, unfortunately you're not able to pick up that color option if you're just buying it separately. You have to shell out the $5,000 if you want that space gray keyboard, or you can just simply customize this keyboard. But price tag. This Apple Magic keyboard with number pad is going to set you back $130. That's gonna be 30 more dollars than the smaller Magic Keyboard, and actually the same price as the Magic Trackpad. I'd say if you're a really big fan of the Apple Magic Keyboard, then this is definitely something to consider. You can either go with the smaller one for $100 or this one for $130. Now, I'm actually a fan of the Apple Keyboard, so I will be using this as my standard keyboard now. But of course, if a number pad is what you're looking for, there's plenty of cheaper options that you can go with. And I'll be sure to link some down below in the description if you want to go ahead and pick one of those up instead of shelling out $130 for this Apple keyboard. Is this something you'll be picking up? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you did enjoy it, if you want to see more videos, hit that like button down below letting me know that you enjoyed this video and of course you want more content. Also, if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, I'll leave a link down below so you can go ahead and follow me on those. That way you'll be up to date with what is going on. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. Also, be sure to hit the little bell. That way you get a notification on your mobile device whenever I push out a new video. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think about this and also let me know what you wanna see on my next video. Appreciate your support very much, and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right?
Peace.